Kevin from Houdini.com. Who doesn't love a panda bear? They're adorable. And when they're made of cake, like this one, they're absolutely irresistible. And this panda cake is the star of the party. So let's make our way over to the kitchen where Leave Hansen for the Betty Crocker Kitchens is going to show us how to make it. Hey, Leave, how are you? Hi, Lori. Boy, a panda cake. Very excited about this. This, this is, is really cool. It's going to be fun. Yeah. So this one, you actually have to bake off three cakes. You're going to have a 13 by 9 inch and then two 8 inch. Okay. And you can use yellow cake or chocolate cake. Okay. So the first step is we actually want to cut off all the domes so that all the cakes are level. Okay. And we can discard those. So I'm going to flip it over. Now, we have some templates. This is the body. And here are some paws. Just lay them out so they fit. And then take a small serrated knife and cut it out. I guess this would be a hard thing to do freehand. It's really better to have something to For something to like you. this, it's good to have a template, yeah. yeah. Did you chill this cake before you? Yes, it's a great idea to chill your cakes beforehand because that will reduce the number of crumbs. Now we can remove the excess pieces. And we're going to arrange it. The body will go down here. And then the paws line up there. And this fancy platter is just a piece of cardboard covered with colored paper. Exactly. Fantastic. You just get a roll of wrapping paper. Yeah, I love that idea. And the next one we're going to do is just the head. And that's just a plain round 8 inch. Oh, so you just use the one cake. Okay. Yes. And again, I'll invert it to reduce the number of crumbs. Okay. And the last one, we'll cut out the, the snout and the ears. So again, we have templates for that. Just lay them out and cut. Perfect. Serrated knives work best. It's sort of, they cut through the cake nicely. Okay, and that would go there. That's your snout. And the ears go here. All right. And now we're ready to do a crumb coat. Which is a really important step, isn't it? Yeah, especially for any cake that has any cut edges. Mm -hmm. When you put a thin layer of frosting over the entire thing, it'll seal in all the crumbs so your final coat's really clean. Right. So we've actually already crumb coated one and we'll go get that. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that looks great. I'm going to do the chocolate first. That's not chocolate. That is black it frosting. It is actually <laughs> chocolate mixed with black. Wow. It's a lot easier to get a black starting with the chocolate because it's already dark. Of course, yeah. Looks good. And the best thing about it is it still tastes like chocolate. I don't think you can have too much chocolate. Okay. You're putting a, a lot of frosting on. This just makes sure I cover it completely. And that also like it forms that lip on top, which will get removed. I'm realizing we're making it the colors of a panda bear, but it could really be a, a teddy bear or a polar bear, any type of yeah. bear that your child likes. Yeah, right? you could even for a teddy bear, maybe even do a little bow. A bow around the yeah. Decorate okay. it any way you want. So now I'm taking that lip of frosting off, getting off the excess. Now I'm smoothing it out now, but what we're going to do a little later is we're actually going to make the furry texture. Oh, fun. I'll do the ears. Mm -hmm. The black frosting is so dramatic. It is. It really is. Okay. So now I'm going to frost the white part. Is it tough to go around curves or little bumps like this? Um, well, what I like to recommend is you start at a point where your body can reach the farthest, mm -hmm. and then just try to do as one fluid motion. Nice job. So now we have it all covered. We're just going to do some pipe details, and then we'll go back and do the furry texture. Okay. So I'm going to fill up two bags, with one with black and one with white. First thing I'm going to do is some black accents. I'm going to make little eye patches. Just take your spatula and smooth it out. You just want to make sure they're large enough to fit a marshmallow that's cut in half. Okay. Oh, actually, I have the marshmallow. I'll do it. Great. This is a great tip that you taught me, is you spray your scissors with non-stick cooking spray before you cut anything sticky like a marshmallow, yes. and it glides through like butter. Look at that. That's as easy as it goes. Yeah. Do one other one. And just put it right up against the snout there. Right up against the snout. Good. Okay. Okay. You look good. And then you can put a little chocolate covered mint on. Oh. You know what? I'll get a little frosting since we already have these tubes on. Okay. And put a little there and a little there. And then you can put on the mint. Okay. Now he's looking good. At least he's looking. <laughs> okay. okay. And I'm going to do a few more piped accents here. I'm going to do a nose. Cute. And a little mouth. And then we're going to make a little center body here. And then I'll 
Just fill it fill in. Fill it in. And again, I'm just gonna squeeze it in there and then we can spread it out with the spatula. And we're gonna do little paws. Aww. Now the idea here is we actually want it to look like his two front paws. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do, is I'm just going to pipe a little extra black right up along there. Oh, I see. And then this is when we get that furry texture that I was talking about. Oh, right. Here. And you can come back and you just zigzag it a little bit and it'll give it a little furry texture. So now the only thing we need to do is just clean up the edges. Okay. So you just run your spatula right along and scrape it off. I guess if you don't have a spatula, you can also use a butter knife. Anything that'll get into those little crevices there. All right, looks good. Great. Yeah, let's turn him around so everyone can see him. Any way you look at him, he's unbearably cute. I've got a million of these puns. You're going to find lots more birthday cakes from the cake experts at the Betty Crocker Kitchens. Party ideas and inspiration right here at Howdini.com. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, Lori. I'm Lori Gelman for Howdini. <laughs>